Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Just Kick the Dancing Avon Lady, and today we are making a garlic fried tofu. I made this about maybe three weeks ago, and it was such a hit. Nelson and Ginevra have both been asking for it again, so I figured I would take you along this journey to try attempt number two, and hopefully it turns out the right way. What you need is some tofu. So this is fresh, medium, firm tofu, and we're going to take it out of the package first and then press it for half an hour um, just to kind of help get rid of some of the water. First test of the day, open it up. Too drain. Uh, these never want to open for me. And if they don't want to open, take a knife and just score it. Give it a little rinse. And then we're just going to grab two plates. Paper towel down. And actually, no, I'm going to fold this over so it's a double layer of paper towel. And then I'm just going to move this over. Take another piece of paper towel. And I'm just going to place it on top. And then. Put another plate on top of it, grab a nice heavy pan, and just place it on top. Just to kind of give it some extra weight and just let that disperse. Also let the water kind of like be pressed out. So what I'm gonna have to do is in about 15 minutes or so, I have to come back, change the paper towels, um, and then redo it again just to make sure I get as much water out as possible because we are pan frying these. It's been about 15 minutes. Let's see how we're doing. So it's quite wet. All right, so I'm just gonna transfer it over to the other side. And then put a new towel on top. And then do it another 15 minutes. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try the other way. Yeah, that may actually be better. More even distribution. All right, another 15 minutes have passed. Let's see what we got. It's definitely drier now. We're going to cube these guys up. Done. So seasoning wise, it's actually very simple. And measurement wise, I'm actually really bad at this. So all I did was I dumped in a bunch of cornstarch about three quarters of a cup, maybe. Maybe even a full cup. Anyways, you can always make more of this batter. I put in cornstarch, and then I just, I put in some onion powder just to season a little bit. Maybe about eh, that much. A sprinkle of salt. And just a touch of black pepper. Sure, that looks good. And then I just stir this up. You can season it with garlic powder, you can season it with whatever you want. I don't heavily season it because I really like the sauce that I'm going to be making with it. Over here, I am going to preheat some oil. Okay, so while I let that preheat, I'm going to start dusting my tofu. So I have my bowl, and I dip the tofu in, give it a bit of a shake, tap it off, and leave it there, and put it on the plate. I have some done. Some still need to be done, but I want to check my oil. Checking the oil, extremely scientific. Take a pair of chopsticks, stick it in, bubbling. Awesome. I'm going to start one batch, and then while it's frying and I have to flip it and stuff, I'm going to start prepping the second batch. So I did let it heat up a little bit longer, and it's nice and sizzling now. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these in. Hopefully they won't splatter too much. Beautiful. I have it on a medium heat and then I just keep flipping them so that all sides are nice and golden brown. You do have to keep watch on it because last time I did burn a couple pieces. So I want to set this down and focus. It'd probably be faster if I had a deep fryer but I don't. I don't want to use that much oil either so I keep watch. So now just keep going. Same process. I'm trying to get a little bit of color, so now I'm just going to flip them. I also have here ready a cooling rack, it's just a wire rack on top of a baking sheet, so that when it's done, I can just stick it on. Look how pretty these are! Wow! Say hi! Hi! Yes, what, mommy, what is mommy making today? Tofu. Tofu. These are looking beautiful. Oh, those look yummy. 
Mm-hmm. And so you do want to make sure they have some space so that they don't stick together. So once they're ready, you just transfer them onto your pan. Oh, there's Ginevra! It do smell good, Mama! These are cooling and I cannot help it, but I have to try one. Mmm! Oh, so good! You need them like that. It's so good. You have a little bit of onion. It's crunchy. Oh, Moe wants to try one too. It's really hot still, Moe. Can we wait a couple minutes? Even just like that, it's so good. You get a bit of the onion flavor, you get the salt, you get a little teeny tiny hint of pepper. Has a nice amount of crunch. It's so yummy, but we are going to make a sauce. Now we're going to do the sauce. So the sauce, I did let the oil cool down just a little bit because I don't want to burn the garlic. I have my five cloves of garlic here. I dump it in. I let that saute just until it becomes ever so slightly golden. Yay. It's good, eh? She just tried the tofu. All right. So see how it's just ever so slightly changing color now? I'm gonna give it maybe another 30-ish seconds, and then the fun begins. So that is about right. So now comes the fun part. We are taking some, I'm gonna turn the heat down, medium low and you want about three tablespoons of rice wine vinegar and then we add about a tablespoon of dark soy about a tablespoon of light soy and these can be adjusted as you taste the flavor and stuff and then honey and i think i added about a quarter cup of honey last time at the end i'm going to salt and pepper it to taste i need to let some of the liquids evaporate, keep stirring it, but let it so that it evaporates, it becomes like almost like a thicker sauce. A little taste. Oh, it's yummy. Pinch of salt. Smidge of pepper. Stir, stir, stir. A little bit of sesame oil. Maybe about a teaspoon. The aroma is amazeballs. It smells so good. So you see how it's starting to thicken up? needs like maybe another minute or so and then I'm going to toss the tofu back in here. Mmm, delicious. It's like garlicky, sweet, a little bit tangy. All right, it's ready to be tossed. Here, and then we just toss it. Evenly coated. I don't know if it's eaten. Probably could even let that sauce thicken up even a little bit more. Oh, look how pretty. Did you like that? Yeah, you want that? That look good? Mm. We garnish it with some beautiful sesame seeds. I love sesame seeds, so I put a lot on. <laughs> Mama loves it. I love sesame seeds. I love sesame. Why, Mama? Mmm, it's just so good. And if you have fresh scallions, feel free to throw in some fresh scallions as well to add a pop of color and some texture. But look how pretty that is. Let's try this out. Look how beautiful that is. Wanna try? Mmm. Mmm! <laughs> how is it? Mmm, they're good. Mm -hmm. Alright, choo choo choo. Mmm. Gum. Good. Mmm. <laughs> really, really tasty. So, the sauce is a little sticky. It's sweet. It's tangy. It's garlicky. It's just so good. Definitely, if you don't know what to do with your tofu, try out this recipe. It's fairly, it's a little time consuming, but it is fairly easy to make. And this is the second time I've made it. The first time I just kind of winged a second, and then I wrote everything down. 
Um, I'll link, I'll put everything down below on the ingredients and stuff. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you let us know by giving us a big fat thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. We strive to have new videos up every week. I do post more frequently on my other, my beauty channel, The Dancing Ate My Lady. So if you want to see more of us from there, make sure you go check that channel out. And in the meantime, guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Hi! Hello, honey. Hello. Now it's dinner time for everybody. Hello, Ooh, hello Bobo Mum? Say mum mum? Hello? Yeah. 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 Can, you say, can you say bye? <laughs>